À tous de DDO. Attention pour le décompte final. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, top. Allumage P80 et décollage Vega 17, Ceosat Ingenio et Taranis. Propulsion est nominale. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Acquisition de la télémesure pour la station de Saint-Jean. And they are off. Seosad Ingenio and Taranis are on their way. Vega flight number 17 is blazing a trail towards space over the night skies of the Amazon rainforest. And the range operations manager is telling us that everyone, everything is going well. And according to plan, we've broken the sound barrier, haven't we, Damien? Exactly, after 30 seconds of flight, we, uh, the launcher velocity gets above the velocity of the sound, Mach 1. And the job of the first three stages is to get us away from the Earth. Exactly, we take advantage of all the energy and the propellants that are stored on the three first boosters in order to get away from the Earth's gravity as fast as we can. Because, of course, the Earth's gravity is what makes us stick to Earth, stick to our planet, but it also makes it quite difficult to leave it. And we can still see the launcher there, that dot in the sky, just going into the distance, deep into space now. This is the separation of the P-80, the first stage. Exactly. And you're getting the confirmations in your ear, Damien? The confirmation has been uh, given that the, first, uh, the second stage was ignited and everything is nominal. Yeah. And this is the beginning of the dogleg maneuver. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Yes, the dogleg maneuver is a change of the uh, trajectory plane of the launcher that we perform just after the separation of P80. And we name it dogleg because when you see the shape of the trajectory, it's like a dogleg. <laughs> it does what it says on the tin, as we say in English. So um, the Z is for Zephyro, which is actually the name of a wind, isn't it? It's the name of a wind, and it's also the name of a Greek god, the god of west wind. And you can see down at the bottom of the screen our altitude, our distance from the pad, and vitesse down at the bottom is, of course, the speed. And you can see the trajectory there. The cross is the actual position of the launch vehicle. So the fairing is what you were showing us just now, the yes. top of the launch vehicle, and it's protecting our satellites from the rigors of the launch. Yes, the fairing protects the satellite in different phases. First, during the ground phase, it allows the cavity in which the spacecraft are located to be monitored in a specific temperatures. And during launch, first at liftoff, it protects them from the acoustic noise. And during the atmospheric flight, as we go very quickly through the atmospheres, it generates friction, and so it generates heat, and the fairing protects the satellite from this additional temperature. And there's acoustic vibrations at launch are very loud, you can just imagine. So here we have separation now, that's what it looks like of the next stage. Yes, we had the separation of the second stage and the ignition of the third. And there we go, the fairing has now been jettisoned. And we have the confirmations there from the range operations manager.